Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. Yes, 4, Andrea. Um, I am very quickly, it's so dark outside at the moment and windy, quickly popping on before I go to work because I'm probably going to look a bit, a bit more windswept by the time I get home. We are doing, an, um, we're taking the children, the older children, <clears throat> on a, a sort of like a, I don't think it's a retreat. They're going out for a day of rock climbing, archery, minging archery in this wind. That's going to be fun. Um, but we're going to be outside for quite a bit of the time, I think. So it's going to be three layers today. Three layers, Andrea. <clears throat> so I've got my polar neck on, then I've got a gilet to go over the top, then I've got my coat, then I've got a hat somewhere. Uh, I am considering putting another pair of socks on as well. And I've got my moon boots. So I hate being cold. I hate being cold and I feel the cold quite a bit. Um, Andrew's actually coming with us today. He has volunteered to drive the minibus. We need to take two minibuses. I can't drive the minibus, but Andrew's going to drive the minibus today. It's the first time he's done it. But I thought I'd quickly pop on. I am still waiting for yesterday's vlog to upload. So when I get home tonight, um, I will be on the phone to the internet provider to see if we can sort this out. If not, I nip down to my sisters. So let's have a look at a quick look at Day four, Advent. Before I go to work, at least, uh, at least we can do we can do that. So, uh, let's see. Number four. So I have number four. I was watching Rachel this morning opening her Advent calendars, and I, and um, she's got the she has the look. Fantastic one. I nearly bought that one. <laughs> but went for the Marks and Spencer's one. Okay. So we have got Essential Daily Moisturizer. Broad spe Spectrum. Can't talk this morning. SPF. Murad. Haven't heard of that brand. See what it smells like. Oh, can't smell it, it's got the silver thing on the top. It smells a little bit of um, oranges actually. That's a bit of vitamin C. Right, I'm off. I'm off to work. I will catch you all later on. Bye for now. We're off on a school trip. <laughs> Miss, Mr. G in charge of the school minibus. Oh, I forgot the hat. <laughs> Obviously can't video any of the kids in, but we're off in a minute. Do you like the look? It's freezing. I have just nipped back to the classroom just to uh, pick up a few bits and pieces. The children are still outside building a wall to climb over with the instructors um we've drawn the short straw i'm taking the group that's outside this morning and it's hammering it down and it's really cold and windy and um the one of the other teachers has got the inside group but i'll uh, hopefully get them this afternoon i'll be going inside this afternoon so it should be a bit warmer so right back out into the rain and the hail <laughs> i'm putting it off a bit as you can probably tell and my lips gone blue yet not quite not far off if I keep staring at the phone I won't have to go outside Home again now, just about warming up. Um, I've got a real helmet head going on, so you'll have to excuse that. It's uh, <laughs> took the hat off and the hair just went woof everywhere. <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> so I am planning, this is going to be a very short vlog, I think, today. I am planning an evening of finishing off my, or oh, well, not finishing it, but continuing on with my knitting. I've just got to the part now where I think I need to join it, but uh, I have to look at the pattern and just figure out what I'm doing with that one. 
but uh, the children had an absolutely wonderful time today. None of them seemed to complain about the cold. It was just me who was sat there. At one point in time where I've got a picture of the climbing wall, I was sat there, I'd got a hot chocolate, went to the cafe to get um, a coffee and a hot chocolate and they got a log burner going there. I'm thinking, oh, please, can I stay here? But I'm sat in there and it's in a barn, but obviously there's no heating, really high ceiling to for the climbing wall. And it was it was pretty cold. So I'm sat there in my coat, my hat. I got I managed to get a sleeping bag from someone that was over my knee. Um but a pair of gloves. I got borrowed a pair of gloves. But yeah, it's still really cold. So I was thinking actually on the way home, um, I'm making stockings, and this seems to be a bit of a tradition that that we do in this family. My mum and dad never used to do the stockings thing. Um, and although I sort of put them across the fire, we don't tend to put very much in them, but I thought I'd um, just put a few little gifts in them this year. But mum and dad always used to, sorry, that's Pip in the background, you can hear. Andrew's gone to take Amy out um, to her works do. And as soon as he goes out, Pip starts fretting. But my mum and dad used to always put a pillowcase at the end of our beds when we were small. Um, and Santa used to come in the night and put our presents in the pillowcase. And unbeknownst to us, what we didn't realise until much sort of later on, were there, there were two pillowcases. And we used to wake up, I was I was a terror for it. I, I was the one who was waking up my sister at the time uh, when we must have been about eight or nine saying, come on, wake up, wake up. Let's see if he's been, and it'd be two or three o'clock in the morning and the pillowcase was still empty. Um, and then eventually we'd fall off to sleep and I'd probably wake up again at about five o'clock and uh, the, the pillowcase was full. And I'm sure mum's got loads of stories of pillowcases, naughty Santa, not um, putting the pillowcases back where they should have been, that um, mum and dad had had a few drinks the night before and... Um, maybe with Santa and uh, the pillowcases never quite made it back to the bedroom. So I of course woke up one morning, Christmas morning and thought, and we all think our mum could hear was, he hasn't been, and that was silly Santa. He'd left them in the wrong room. Right, Andrew's back. I am going to go and have something to eat, try and upload this. It will be a short one, but um, I will catch you all again tomorrow. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.